It's been an incredible process, right? I look back to the first hardware products we did with controller and link a while ago, and then I look to what we did in VR with the room, and who worked on the room? Gordon, Joe, Yasser, right? That was what convinced me to quit this otherwise interesting career in Hollywood, as well as many other people who are here today, and sort of launched the modern renaissance of VR. And <laughs> I don't think I could have pictured standing here today that that would have turned into this. I thought that was one of those, you make a science fiction demo, and then 20 years later, when people are buying it, of course, like I worked on it back then. But no, literally, Two and a half years later, we shipped the Vive with our good friends at HTC, and then another two years after that, we ship our own product with Index, and I think I'm glossing over three years. Joe is correcting me, thank you. I'm making this up. Three years later, we ship the Index. Just the number of iterations of things we've done. I think about the Knuckles controllers. Who remembers Viper? Does anyone remember the Viper controller? Yes. And then that turned into Knuckles. Where's Eric Hope? I remember the, I remember the original versions where we just bought gloves off eBay and started cutting them with scissors <laughs> and taping them to Vive wands, uh, which is normal practice for those who don't work at Valve. That's sort of how we roll. But to see that, and then to see the final polished product that we have nowadays in the kit, it's just incredible. Uh, I'm proud of what we've done. I know everybody is proud of what we've done. And I really just want to thank everyone for making that happen, because it's incredible. And of course, all of our families are here. I really want to thank our families. They understand how important it is, so thank you. And that's all I wanted to say, and I wanted to invite Gabe up. Gabe's here, right? Let's see. Gabe wanted to say a few things as well, before we get to the real fun. Hey, Gabe. Hi, can everybody hear me? Yes. Woo! Woo! There really are two groups here today. One are a bunch of Valve employees, but we also have guests here from the Mike. community. Mike. Mike. I will speak louder. I'm going to talk first to the people from Valve, and then I'm going to address our friends from the gaming community. Um, so in our history of Valve, we had a lot of significant milestones. We had Half-Life, which was our first single-player game. We had Source, that was our first engine. We had Counter-Strike, which was our first multiplayer game. Then we had Steam, and the Workshop, and you know, ARM support, mobile support, Mac and Linux support, just on and on. And Index is another one of those critical milestones for our company. We represent a tremendous amount of hard work and creativity on your part. As you know, the audio design by itself is just represents a significant breakthrough in the field, uh, the visual fidelity, and all that implies in terms of uh, optical design, panel design, industrial design. Uh, that's a real breakthrough. Knuckles uh, is hugely important, not only for how it's going to help ourselves and our game partners make their games better, and how it enables entirely new kinds of games. So, but milestones aren't really the end of anything, they're really the beginning, right? So Half-Life led to Half-Life 2. Source led to Source 2. The experiments we did with Team Fortress 2 were what enabled us to build Dota. Uh, maybe, oh well, Artifact is the reason that we're able to do Underlord. And so, you know, maybe someday the number two will lead us to that shiny integer glowing on the mountain someplace. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to, have to see. We're going to all look back at some point and realize the 
consequences of what you've built with your creativity and your hard work for us and for all of our customers. Now I want to talk to, I guess, the green tag people <laughs> who are members of the community. Right? As I said, shipping a product isn't the end, it's really the beginning. Um, so in the case of Index, there are some obvious next steps. Right? It's simple for us to broaden our distribution from outside the US and EU into other countries. We can lower the, there are obvious ways for us to lower the cost, there are obvious ways to make the product lighter, we can improve the ergonomics. But then we get to more speculative issues. Uh, we are looking at several methods of doing untethered index. Uh, we have a lot of ideas for kind of revolutionary things to do with the display and optical technology. Uh, there are lots of opportunities to continue to improve, you know, the, the volumes that you're tracked in and the simplicity with which you're being tracked in those spaces. Those are going to be pretty fundamental opportunities. Uh, and what they're going to enable is the best part of this, when you start seeing new VR games from Valve and from our other partners. And that's really where you guys come in. Um, you see, it's very hard for us to develop a product to work at Valve without customers. Right? <laughs> and we have to guess, right? What's important? What are the trade-offs we should make? Uh, will this be valuable to you? And we can sort of run a simulation in our head that it's so much better when we actually have real customers that we can engage with. Because we're really entering the best time as creators. We're really reaching that time when uh, you guys are involved. You're not only telling us how did we do with index, you're teaching us how to make index better. And that's awesome. It's, it's such an exciting time for all of us and for our families who are here. We're really great, grateful that you can participate. Uh, now, we actually have something for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now's when, the, now's when the fun begins, everyone. Oh. As you, uh, as you walk through the store, you're going to see our factory. This is where we're, we're making our base stations, and you're going to be able to go out and tour the line and watch it being made live. Um, also, we have uh, every one of you that has a green tag, uh, you're going to get your index today. And we're going to hand it out to you, but you don't have to open it. We have a bunch of other indices in there that are waiting for you to play. So we, we invite you. Yeah, I know. Gabe likes indices, so I just, I just roll with it. Uh, so anyway, we want, you to, we want you to get into VR right now. All right, so pull out your index card. Uh, yeah, lame joke intended. Yes. And, uh, and hold it up as you walk through the door. My beautiful colleagues are going to hand you your kit. And then they're going to walk you to one of the stations. And, uh, and then after you have your, your time, you have a good time there, I want you to go over and check out the factory. And then everybody else here, get your kids, uh, get them into those stations as well. We want them to have fun as well. So it's time to, like, the party is fully open now. Let's go have fun. Thanks for being here.